free speech about the years I've had I've been a patient at Great Ormond Street. Now that I'm 18, my time at Great Ormond Street Hospital is coming to an end. I feel privileged to be given the chance to share the wonderful experiences I've had at this amazing hospital. Ever since I was three weeks old, I have been a patient at Great Ormond Street Hospital. I was diagnosed to have multiple pterygian syndrome. This meant I had webbing in my hands and feet, desiccated hips and elbows, as well as stiff knees. At the early stages, it was quite hard for the doctors to pinpoint exactly what the syndrome consisted of because I was one of a few in the world to have similar issues. I was first seen by many specialist doctors, including trainee doctors. My parents thought I was so unique that I would be considered as a wonder. Many doctors liked to take photographs of my hands and feet, and at times I felt like a celebrity. <laughs> I was referred to many departments in the hospital, mainly orthopaedic, genetic and urology. As I grew older, I was also referred to the ophthalmology and maxillofacial departments. Every department in Great Ormond Street treated me with so much care and attention. Each time someone examined me, I was made to feel so special and important. It could be because my condition was so rare, but, it came, but I came out of each appointment room feeling great. The best thing I can remember is the comments Mr. Jones, the orthopaedic consultant, said about me. He said that I had the best combination of a stiff knee and desiccated hips. <laughs> the knee holds me up and the hip gives me the flexibility to sit and stand. If this was the other way around, I may have not been able to stand or sit. I was just like, wow. <laughs> this was, and still is, quite amazing to me. No one knew how I was going to grow up what I could do and what I could not do. I was so unique indeed. This meant that everything I actually did was an achievement, a miracle. For example, with red fingers, holding a pencil and writing was a miracle. With dislocated hips, standing or sitting upright was a miracle. And walking was even better, a miracle. More recently, I have passed my driving test and able to drive the car. So each appointment I went to, the doctors were amazed at how I developed and grew stronger. This encouraged me more and more to achieve, uh, achieve what, I, what I thought I couldn't. Over the past 18 years, I have had a number of operations in Great Ormond Street. They were all for a various amount of reasons. The first operation I had was when I was very young. The operation was to loosen my tendons since I was walking on my heels. I then had further operations over the next few years, which were all to improve my legs as my feet started to bend inwards. Across many hospital trips, operations and admissions, all I can say is that Great Ormond Street Hospital made every experience joyful. The nurses were so nice, always checking up on me, making sure I was happy and I wasn't thirsty or hungry. Given the operations I had, I wasn't able to walk around that much in the wards. So the nurses would bring games to me to play whilst I was in bed. One thing that always scared me after the operations was the plaster removal. It looked like a giant chainsaw. My goodness, they were so scary. I would always get worried that the saw would go through my plaster and cut me. However, the nurses would do the same and always make me feel relaxed and happy. The past two years have been quite difficult for me as I have had a serious amount of pain in my knees meaning that I had to miss a lot of school. This was during the times when I did my GCSEs and first year of A-levels. The pain was so bad, resulting in hundreds of sleepless nights. This led to me missing a lot of school. The pain was quite di difficult to handle. I could say it was taking over my life. I was prescribed to take so many different tablets and given antidepressants to help me sleep. I was extremely privileged to be included in the pain management program run by Great Ormond Street. From the many sessions I had, I was able to learn a ton of different things to change in my daily life. It has helped me a lot, especially now, as I have completely got rid of all my medication and have had a pain-free year at college.
helping me, be, helping me with my confidence. They help me realize that it doesn't matter what I've been born with or what life throws at me. I don't have to worry about anything. It doesn't matter how many times I've been set back or cut down because I know I can keep growing back. Whenever a grape grapevine is pruned or cut, it grows back. This makes the grapes better. No matter how it can be, there's one thing that the fruit is so wonderful, so amazing. So please give what you can today to this very special cause. I promise that you really will be making a difference to children and young people just like me. Thank you so much for your time. Sister and they are the proud.